Screw the timer. I'm already ready. I hope you are ready to learn Morse code. Too exciting. All with the perfect setup. And now I got to check my, check my text message. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's up here. Oh man. Um. Yo, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Where's my camera at? <laughs> I'm trying to get this thing to not screw up all the time. Uh, uh, yellow and porous and porous is he. Oop, I messed up. Uh, so I'm going to like go old school and just do some code groups. Um, trying to increase the speed. <clears throat> I missed a few days. I missed the whole weekend. So like I'm really off streak, but technically this still is day 27. Um, check if I got everything beeping. Are we peeping? Nice. Turn it down. Pick up. Uh, first of all, news round table. Round table. Um, nice. You're on Twitch now. Uh, Steve, good to see you. Um, youth on the air is legit. Like, like a hundred percent legit. Like, it, it can't get more legit because we got a message from George, who is the secretary of the IRAU Region 2, um, who CC'd the president of IRAU Region 2, <clears throat> with, our, with a big letter saying, and I'll let you read it, you know, scrolling by. <laughs> uh, we asked for some things that we wanted and, you know, getting support and that sort of thing, and, and they are like, heck... Yes, they read our whole proposal and all that stuff. Um, so behind the scenes news for youth on the air. So IRAU2 Region 2 uh, is now in full support. They're looking to help. They're looking to not financial support. They're going to do that next year um, based on the success or, or success of the uh, current camp. Uh, but we're allowed to use like logos and um, say that the IRU has supported us, and that that's good for us because then we can kind of prove our legitimacy to that we've done our homework. And and if you've read the uh, the page, you should know that we've we've done quite a bit of homework. And by we, I mean um, Neil Rapp, WB9 VPG. He is the the real brains behind it. I am just the pretty face and the kind of harbinger like i'm the one who came who went over to austria and said hey how do you guys do this and i came back here and i told the awrl hey let's do this and they were like uh no we gotta fire our ceo first or no the ceo has to leave first and then we gotta get a new ceo and then we gotta fire him and then our whole board is having an issue so that was right in the middle of the whole in 6a century so that's why i'm really salty about it because it's like we were on the docket and we we're gonna talk about it and then they're like Pfft. We have more important fish to fry, which legitimately, that is not wrong. But I think youth and ham radio is m more important than, than most things in ham radio. If we want, uh, well, my videos are just playing nonstop. If we want to have ham radio be a thing in the future, you know. Um, what else in the news? Is there news? News? Let's round out the news and brief. I, I don't do actual ham radio news, but yeah. So that's that's my favorite news. I'm I'm gonna probably remember something while I'm doing some doing some code groups. So <clears throat> all right. Anyway, code groups. While um, put this away. I don't need you. Bring this in. I need you. You gotta memorize the ABCs by next weekend. Good luck. It took me quite a while. <laughs> I don't know actually know how long it took me to really remember or memorize the entire alphabet because I could I could like before I even started I could I could go like what is F? Uh, I think it's this, but I definitely knew like 
K and M and E and, and L and D and X even, but like F and Q and P and B were some of the harder ones. But now I'm like... Perfect. <laughs> I totally didn't screw any of those up. Um, but my problem is I'm just slow. So, like you heard. I'm gonna speed this guy up if I wanna like play more. Cool. <clears throat> All right, let's see how bad I am at uh, code groups. So we're at 23 words per minute effective, speed of five. Why not let's do uh, 25, 253, okay. 602 seconds, just do, yeah, two seconds, still wanna do that. That's gonna sound like this. Okay. Code groups. Play. Let's go. Not bad. It's passing grade. I may want to try the next lesson. I think I guess the coding is the same as the lesson, so there's no lesson to try. Um, but yeah, not terrible. But um, I think what I'll try, what I'll try to experiment with is so that's character speed of 25 words per minute. That really means nothing. Like the difference between. Let me. Uh, well, no. I'm trying to think of an easy way to like key fast and then very slow CW. I should have freaking got a, <laughs> should have bit the bullet and got a, um, one of these, but with the, with the trim pot on it. So I can like go fast between the two. Um, I could open up M1M and connect it to the radio or I could use the radio, but the, well, why not? Well, forget about it. Point is the difference between did da it and did it da it is, is not really significant to to my brain i don't know about other people's brains but the the speed at the actual character i mean i could i could detect a c or i could detect letters at like super fast like what is the speed i can't <laughs> i can't send that fast like yeah, I could type out YouTube events because I just see it. Got the last one wrong. So, basically my point is, I can tell the difference between, like, I know this is a B. And then, this is also a B. Wait for it. That was not a B, but, like, kind of get my drift. Like... I don't really have to relearn that speed of character, but the problem is the. Uh, so how we roll? The problem is the effective speed, and that is what really will like ruin my code copy. Okay, so like, even if I go to like fifteen, but fifteen. Oh, let's do like thirteen. Thirteen. So like I've slowed the character speed way down, but now the effective speed is is one to one, which is normal CW. So I'm just gonna dive right into it and see how bad it goes. Thank you. 
Forgot what that was for a second. So quite a bit worse. Even like a whole character set I missed. But like, if it was some, if it was all like letters, mostly letters, then then it wasn't hard. But if it had like numbers and stuff in it, eh, like no bueno. Um, and then compare that to change the W settings. Uh, let's go back to twenty and six. Groups. <laughs> I knew that was the last one. Da da da. Gee. Uh, so, way, 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 way better. But actually, still worse than 10%. Um, but still way better, right? I think it was way better. I got, like, most of the code groups, which these one-off errors, like, not really important. You you can make those words. Now, so let's go back to, tw let's say, 20, and then try to do 13 effective. Makes sense. So we were at 13, 13, really sucked at that. 26, not bad. 20, uh, oh, freaking hello there, uh, Lenny. <laughs> People from real life watching me, that's kind of nerve wracking now. Um, so 20 and 13 tw uh, is now kind of the mix between the two. So it's at 13 effective words per minute, but character speed of 20. And I'm just proving the point that the speed of the character doesn't matter. It's the effective speed, the time, the time in between the two. Uh, and I'll really prove the point in a second. But like, let's see how bad this goes. And this might actually disprove it. Like, I'm also trying to learn: Am I really? Am I talking out my butthole, or or am I? Do I really have any idea what I'm actually talking about? Because if I do really bad at this, which I'm assuming that I will, but if I do really, really bad. Um, like worse than the first one, then the character, sp worse than when I did 13 by 13, then the character speed does have an effect, which I think there's a little bit, but I'm not trying to sound like this hoity-toity, oh, yeah, I know it all, but like, I shouldn't finish that with a but like. <laughs> all right.
<laughs> Terrible. So I did way, way worse than the um, than the 13 by 13, which means character speed does have some role to play. Um, just like dripped on me. Um, to an extent. So character speed in addition to effective speed, I think that's like the double whammy. But character speed, like let me let me go back to change CW settings and let's go like crazy. Thirty-three. It's like contest speed, but keep this at five. If I do really good on this, then character speed is less of an importance, right? My nose itches. <laughs> I was too busy trying to get the seven and then left out all that. So, not terrible. No, not good. <laughs> Mostly not good. Um, but it does kind of show like, yeah, I can, I can still hear these things at super fast speeds. But um, just not as, it's uh, my train of thought. Uh, but yeah, words. Um, I'm glad I don't have to like answer to a manager on these streams because like I'm I'm a terrible YouTuber. <laughs> uh, so like let's go to the crazy extreme. People learn. Th th this is this is the point I had to somebody who um, an older person um, who got their license a lot longer, a lot more time ago than me. Uh, who uh, had to learn Morse code at five words per minute to pass the general test and then 13 words per minute to pass the extra. So what they actually did is they had code classes that would teach you five words per minute. Like, like that's it. Like, da, di, da, di. Like, like, literally. Like, I cannot imagine. Like, this would be so boring. And what this does is it entrains you to count because it makes it easier for the person to go one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there were three dots and two dots. That's a three. Um, let me see how long I'll last before dying in this. Freaking F. 
I only get four uh, character groups in, but I think I got it perfect. Oh no, I missed the. I actually was kind of confused with that. Um, but that was stressful. <laughs> it actually, like, it sounded harder. Like, it felt harder to actually decode at a slower speed, which which is normal because I'm training at a high speed. It almost sounded like that the da had a higher pitch than the dit, and I was like, since I learned Morse code at generally that speed, I'm like, that those dits sound like da's, and I'm like, wait, I gotta wait for a long one. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm having too much fun. I need to actually drill, and I still haven't like figured out the real method to getting character their effective speed up so 23 words per minute is my favorite words per minute speed even though I trained in 20 by 5 but like so if I do 5 6 7 8 so on and so forth I mean that's what uh, word training and call sign training does what a morse machine uh, ABC Interesting. CWOps teach you, teaches you the characters in a different uh, order. Um, speed. Less than 40. I wonder, I wonder what this will tell me, if anything. I'm dumb. I'm like getting back up to speed. Uh, da 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 da. Da 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 da. I just did that one. That <laughs> no, was not D. It's actually making me really bad. What was that? Friggin' F. Forget that one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, um, da. Hmm, six. <laughs> Dang it. So like, I'm going at five words per minute. Like that's that's the fastest speed that I can like muster. Just by doing it like this. 
It's also not letting me have like a working memory. It's like you can actually see like, ah, I can't remember what a seven is. So I can I actually have all the time to like wait for it. So like, oh yeah, that's a one. But that's hitting my effective speed. So it's just like, hmm. I don't think this is the best way to improve the speed because it's not incentivizing me to go higher except for making that number bigger, right? But there's no like, oh, well, congratulations, you did it, you got a bigger number. Just like every sport, like that's what they do when you get a bigger number and your number goes up, woo, or if it's golf, your number goes down, woo. <laughs> The reward is truly intrinsic, is what, what the real deal is. Huh. So it's really just code groups and then trying to squeeze that number up little by little. So 23 by 5. Submit. He knows it just, how embarrassing. Play. So maybe the, the the strategy will be get the errors down to 10%, raise the effective words per minute by one. I think it's a good idea. So I'm going to see if there's statistics on this thing. Yeah. What is this? Letters, figures, mixed, custom. Okay. Accuracy, speed. I just copied the number. Why didn't somebody tell me this already? It's like it's like that's what exactly what it wants you to do. Like this 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 statistic page is, it's t it's saying green line is speed. That's the right side bar. Um, let me get rid of the, that. Um. And you can see I've been like up and down and all around. R black line is my accuracy, which is just like before. And then red line is, is the average of the accuracy. So what it's telling you is like your attempt number nine, like at this point right here, you should have gone up to the next word per minute, which for me would be six words per minute. So this is at five. And we shot up to 13 and we got less. And we shot down to six and we got more. We shot up to 13 again and we got less. Like, it's kind of funny how it's literally the uh, derivative, the, that curve, or not derivative. It's, uh, or is it the derivative? It's a slope, negative, negative derivative, something like that. <laughs> I forget how to do math for crying out loud. Um, what does derivative look like? Derivative uh, graph. I can't type either, apparently. Derivative graph of an absolute function, of a piecewise function. Derivative is positive. Gotcha. All right, now now we know. That's what a derivative is supposed to look like. <laughs> I, whatever. I'm never doing math again. Okay, so we are definitely done learning Morse code, though, for the day. My brain is tired. I have many um, things to attend to while my wife is out on travel. And by that, I mean watching hours and hours of YouTube until I fall asleep. 
Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Unless I get a pop up, but I will reiterate: this morning we are officially legit from the IRAU's perspective, IRAU Region Two rather, uh, for Yoda. So um, there's that. Also, there's only a few more days left before um, Steve KM9G's uh, one-to-one -one matching program is, comes to an end. So, like we've been saying in almost every podcast, Steve KM9G is matching your dollar for his dollar up to $4,000 until the end of February. So, uh, up to $4,000. That's crazy good. And... Um, where are we at in terms of our fundraiser? Holy cow, we're getting close, y'all. Uh, donate now. No, yeah, we're getting really close. We just have like less than a thousand dollars to go for the next couple days uh, before we can send all thirty campers to the camp. Um, by sixty-four people, only sixty-four people have donated. Thank you, thank you all who have. Um, I just want to see like the actual page. Whatever. I'm trying to just show my credit card details today. Uh, thank you, anonymous. Let's see who I know in here. Thank you, Barb, Ronald, Edward. You are the yacht leader. Uh, Gary, KAGT, we met before. I don't know Bill. Thank you. Man, some people, some of these guys are really, like, throwing their weight. David Siddle, Brian Betts, American Radio Relay League. They have, uh, donated $500. Don, Paul, RCA. Um, Carol Perry is a part of the RCA. She's the youth, um, forum leader. Sam Lord, Kirk Zolman, Martin Kirk, King Hanky. I wish they put their, uh, uh, call sign so I, I, I could recognize people by their call sign and not their name but thank you all um, radio sport Nike. what is this I'm actually curious agro frontier radio sport oh it's a it's a club up in uh, New Jersey New Jersey <laughs> not New Jersey uh, in Western New York um, so thank you and that's that's one of uh, one of a very few clubs Winterfest booth visitors <laughs> Um, actually, so that's the one club, Radio Club America, American Radio League, and then the St. Louis Suburban Radio Club is also donating $250. I just heard about that last night. So there, there's a lot fewer clubs than I thought there would be that, that would donate. And these also include like PayPal donations. So like these offline donations, those are, uh, and check donations are included. So that's why, you know, the Ada Laurel didn't, doesn't do, or Winterfest Booth Fizzers, those are literally $20 in cash. So. Awesome. Thank all of you, especially everyone, not just the people who pay a lot, but like everybody. Tom Schaefer, please reach out. You're like, you're almost beating the American Rito Really League. Um, second to, second to uh, Steve, of course. Um, but thank you all so very much for your donations. It's really helping and it's going to put to, put to, it's going to make this camp like really fun because, and also really stressful for, for, for me and, um, uh, Sam and, and Neil and, and I mean, let's see, we've got Joe, we got the other Joe, we've got NN1C coming and Bryant and all these people giving the workshops and doing the trainings. Like it's going to be harder to train like 30 people, but that's really what we want is we want more people here, the more the merrier. And we definitely have room for it. It's not like we're, you know, searching for space for these extra 30. This, this bottle is just effective. I'm constantly dripping on my like, chest. Um, so yeah, there is that, and we are officially like official with the IRU, and and of course with the AWRL because they you know they gave us some funding. So that's that's proof. If you needed some proof that um, uh, um, to to th that that this is a legit camp, and we've done our homework and our background checks, and have our insurance, and have our whole plan together, then that should be it. Otherwise, there is you know our proposals and stuff are available uh, upon request. Not to mention just all the information on. Youth on the air dot youth on the air dot <laughs> region two dot org youth on the air dot org which used to be youth on Yoda region two but then we had this whole like oh hang on we're not region two yet we're not with IRU 
we got to get approval and, and, and support and stuff. So we switched to Youth on the Air, which makes more sense. Easier to remember, youthontheair.org. Um, but if you go to yodaregion2.org, it'll redirect you here. I really want to fix this banner. Like, I'm not a good web person, and Neil put this website together with uh, with a website um, builder tool. So, you know, if, if you're a web developer and you would like to do a free website, <laughs> a website for free, <laughs> that'd be great. Right, we'll put you on the sponsor list down at the bottom, obviously, um, because that's exactly what uh, QTH.com is doing. We're getting a, a quite a bit of a discount um, and had some like one-on-one -on -one time with um, Scott, the owner of the hosting service, QTH.com, to put us on there. And um, he's also paying for the rest of our like GoDaddy or something like that. Because we were on GoDaddy. That was a mistake, I know. Um, it was also really slow and like kept breaking and the SSLs were expensive and all that whatnot. So we didn't want to spend all the money on a website. We want to spend all the money on you young folk out there. So yeah. Um, what else? I think that's it. Didn't have much chat tonight. So unless YouTube just suddenly disconnected and I'm like talking blind. Um, nor my my normal guys are actually been pretty late. Uh, what's his? Uh, I thought I saw Jim at the very last second on my last stream, telling me to I forget even what it was, and then um, Mike Her uh, not Hurley, you know. So anyway, I think that'll wrap it up. <phone rings> dit dit. 73, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time, which is probably tomorrow again at, well, wait, no, it's not tomorrow, because I have another thing to do tomorrow, so Thursday at, wait, what day is it? Yeah, Thursday at about 7 p.m. or so, unless I decide to stream early on tomorrow, so can't have a consistent schedule. That's just not the way life works around here. Has my hair been like crazy this whole time? All right, catch you later, guys, 73, and... 73 and also 73. <laughs>